So Krishna is saying, if you go by the physical laws, Arjuna is lamenting, how can I kill my brother, how can I kill my grandfather, how can I kill my guru in this battle, because they're all on the other side. So Krishna is saying, see you go by the physical laws, you have to kill. They stayed away, you stayed away, no problem. Now we crossed our paths, no… no chance of escaping this. Today or tomorrow you will have to kill. So the moment has come to kill. You can't stop it. This is not your choice or their choice. This is the way of the physical. Physical happens with boundaries. It is time, one thing that you do, one thing that everybody who considers themselves some kind of sadhaka or a seeker, one thing that you must do to yourself is, So when he said sva dharma, sva means swell, self, dharma means law. So the law of yourself, he's talking about the law of the self. What is the nature of the self? How does it operate? What is it that you have to do with it? As there is law of the physical, there is laws of the self. He is saying you must live by the laws of the self, not by the physical laws. If you live by the physical laws, this will happen. Today we are friends, tomorrow something comes, we will be fighting. Yes or no? Yes? You are sitting there, I am sitting here. We are nice. If you try to sit here, there will be a fight. Yes or no? Isn't it happening even in the closest of relationships on the planet? not just be between two nations, not between communities, not between societies. Is it not between… happening between husband and wife, father and child, mother and child? Is it not happening? Yes or no? Because this is the physical law that you sit there, I sit here, once in a way I come there, we'll do this. <laughs> if you feel like it, we will hug, but if I sit on your head or if I sit or you sit on my head, it's not going to work. Yes or no? Now, repeatedly one fly will come and sit here, initially. <laughs> initially it just sat here. After some time it started biting, then chuckle. <laughs> yes or no? You may not get it, that's different. <laughs> But you want to get it, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the nature of the physical. So Krishna is saying, if you go by the physical laws, Arjuna is lamenting, how can I kill my brother, how can I kill my grandfather, how can I kill my guru in this battle, because they're all on the other side. So Krishna is saying, see you go by the physical laws, you have to kill. They stayed away, you stayed away, no problem. Now we crossed our paths, no… No chance of escaping this, today or tomorrow you will have to kill. So the moment has come to kill. You can't stop it, this is not your choice or their choice. This is the way of the physical. Physical happens with boundaries. If transgression of boundaries happen, yes or no? For everybody, for everybody in this world you have a boundary, yes? Your enemy means the boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your neighbor means boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your friend means the boundary is here. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your spouse means the boundary is here. But if he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your child means the boundary is here. But if he crosses that, there will be trouble. Yes or no? So. For everybody there is a boundary, isn't it so? However dear to you they are, isn't there a boundary? Is there a boundary or no? There is a boundary, isn't it? Only if you maintain the boundary. See the yellow line? <laughs> if you maintain the boundary, things work in the physical world. 
If you cross the boundary, any transgression happens with the boundary, beginning of violence has started, isn't it? First step towards violence has begun, initially it'll happen in words, then little pushing and then chopping. Don't think, no, no, I won't do it, you will also do it. This is the way of the physical. So, Krishna is saying, if you don't want this, if you're struggling with this chopping business, you follow your swadharma, the way of the self, where there are no boundaries. You can sit here and be everywhere, you can sit here and be nowhere. Nobody is a transgression in this. When you sit here and there is no… you cannot transgress anybody and nobody can transgress you, if you experience this, then I don't have to pre-tell you, fight the war. But you live by the physical laws and you try to avoid the fight, it is not going to help. Any way you have to fight. So how to follow this? You have to turn inward. If you live by the way of the physical, collision is just one step away, isn't it so? Yes or no? Colliding with something, is just a step away, always. You got to dodge it, all the time dodging, isn't it? If you don't dodge, you will go like this with somebody, invariably. So that's Swadharma. It is time, one thing that you do, one thing that everybody who considers themselves some kind of sadhaka or a seeker, one thing that you must do to yourself is, you are absolutely truthful to yourself. If you're also truthful to everybody around you, you will get other kinds of benefits with people. But I will not go that far right now. With yourself, you are one hundred percent truthful. Otherwise, all kinds of tricks keep happening. To be truthful to yourself is not a easy thing because there is lifetimes of habit of simply bullshitting yourself. And of course, <laughs> you've gone through much religious training, many of you <laughs> So you have a very sophisticated way of bullshitting yourself. <laughs> and you have got it endorsed by certain authorities. Hello? It is endorsed that this bullshit is good. <laughs> A guest came to Shankaran Pillai's house. And being a South Indian man, down south, you know, Pillai's come from further down south. He was carrying an umbrella, which is common thing in Kerala and southern Tamil Nadu to carry an umbrella is a very common thing because rains can be very heavy. Then they walked out, he took the guest out, then it started raining. But Shankaran Pillai did not open the umbrella. The guest said, why don't you open the umbrella? Shankaran Pillai said, uh, I'm sorry, the umbrella is full of holes. <laughs> then the guest asked, why did you bring it? Well, I never thought it'll rain today. <laughs> A whole lot of people are like this. They think somebody else has to catch their lies. This will take a long time because someone else catching your lies will take lifetimes. You must catch them. You should not let your chickens pass to become hundred percent straight with yourself. It will take a certain amount of application. But if this one thing you do, asatoma sadgamaya, this piece of life will work for sure, hundred percent. Then figuring out a few things is very simple. For that I am there. If you just fix one this… this one thing that you are one hundred percent straight, no any kind of deception. When there's a hole in the umbrella, you know there is a hole in the umbrella. 
you will never forget that there is a hole in the umbrella, okay? If you are like this, rest of the work becomes very simple and easy. <laughs>